Welcome back to Fast Food Tier List Part 2. Part 2, have, baby. We have not killed each other yet. We're being somewhat cordial, <laughs> um, which is rare. Maybe because we can't actually touch each other right now. That's true. We're not within arms range of each other. <laughs> We're not within strangling range. Uh, oh, but yeah, so let's let's get back in the swing. So Krispy Kreme, Jesse, go. Dude, what a banger to start on. Um, right? Krispy Fuck Kreme... Man is more than a restaurant it's more than an establishment it's like a weird fucking donut phenomenon like donut cult like i have never seen so much like hype for a fucking restaurant coming to an area than than krispy kreme back in the 90s mm -hmm. like i wait it, are you sure they're that or like, like 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 1999 like 2000 oh, okay okay go ahead like yeah. like like in that range but <clears throat> i remember specifically it coming because everyone everyone was just dorking out about like the like the way they made the, the donuts and i was like what the fuck is everyone talking about yeah and and so i was just like okay well tell me and they're just like oh my god it's so old-fashioned and they have like the, the fucking traditional little um uh not array the, the little like a uh, um Conveyor the, belt, you know, like the do, conveyor do, belt, do, yeah, do, yeah. Do, 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 like going through and, the, and like the sugar going through and like cooking it and such. Mm. And so they would literally take the donut out of the motherfucking cooking device and then mm -hmm. put it in a bag and be like, here you go. You know, anywhere else you go, it doesn't matter, <laughs> anywhere else, there's at least like a 15 minute shelf life. There's, you, you will never get a donut piping hot fresh out of the fucking oven like Krispy Kreme 100 percent and it makes it makes all the difference yeah just so if I could put that in triple s personal favorite Krispy Kreme is a phenomenon okay I guess we'll use that tier since we're since you were so raving about it we can go there that's fine hashtag that shit and send it to Krispy Kreme let me get me let me give me a right. subscription S sponsored <laughs> sponsored 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 um, sponsored I don't have a lot to say. I, I don't really want. I don't. I don't need to knock it off Jesse's personal fave. It's delicious. It's hot when you get there. It's. It's really interesting. Like, a lot of these places didn't really land um, in the Midwest. Um, apparently, I just with some googling, um, Krispy Kreme has been around since 1937. What? So, yeah, that Northern Carolina and began selling its Krispy Kreme donuts on July 13th, 1937 to local grocery stores. Well, when did it make it to the West Coast? Um, oh, well, hang on. Well, I, you, you don't have to do that research. Uh, 40s but, and 50s. Hang on. I'm, I'm going fast. 60s no, you, and 70s. You, you're, are, you're looking. <laughs> well, our stores are familiar. <laughs> gathering places for friends. During the 1960s, Krispy Kreme opened steady growth throughout the Southeast United States. 80s and 90s, the hot donut experience everyone was talking about. 82, a small group of early franchises bought Krispy Kreme back from the Beatrice Foods, which was the grocery store, I assume. Mm. Uh, renewed focus on the hot donut experience, as you just eloquently described about being like the conveyor belt, hot, you know, short shelf life. Yeah. Um, it's first, they began to expand outside the Southeast and opened their first store in New York City in 1996. So you were close, like late 90s, and then obviously now, boom. Mm. It's Damn. all over the fucking place, but yeah. Well, so so and and, and 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 this this is gonna sound controversial because if you gave me like a Ben's Donuts, like your local motherfucking two people that stay there all damn day making donuts, and they and they do have like they're on the shelf for like two hours, but I would still weirdly pick one of those those places over Krispy Kreme. 100%. Me too. Because Krispy Kreme is like this weird, fluffy, cloudy, hot experience to have the one donut. However, I would rather have the big, dense, mm. you know, fucking bear. Or I mean, well, I'm sorry, not bear claws, but but like uh, old fashioned maples, well, like, you know, the ones that have been around for like two hours and then they've like well, they, weirdly well, they, settled. They make those there. This is no, 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 no. I know, but but it's different. Like, like there's something about like the, like the, the, the town favorite local donut shop. Um, that just no, you know, has to make donuts all damn day. So anyway, well, I and and that was kind of our argument of Chipotle, the 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 mom and pop shop down the street. That's sh yes, that shell nut Mexican food exactly. is always better. So exactly. Uh, real quick before we leave, Krispy Kreme, what's your favorite donut? Oh, old fashioned maple. Oh, you like heathen. without question. No, it's always devil's food. What always the fuck devil's, is devil's food? food. It's chocolate cake, chocolate icing. Oh, I don't 
Oh, oh I see, I'm not. I don't, I'm not a chocolate fan. Yeah, you don't have to be. <laughs> you don't have to be. And that's that's such a strong fucking advertisement for it. You don't. It's just so delicious. <laughs> it's, it's it's the denser cake donut. Okay. And then it has like the icing. Mm-hmm. My mom was like, "What do you want?" I'm like, my like, devil's food. Always devil's food. That's funny. Wow. Well, this, these this has turned out fun, by the way. <laughs> well, see, I first wanted to do, it and you're like, I don't really go to fast food, and now I'm getting the history of Jesse via yeah, fast food. Yeah, apparently. apparently. Okay, Long John, Long John Silver. No opinion. So, can I lump like the local fish and chips place into this, or does it have no. to be long? Because this is corporate. Yeah. The, no, no, I've never been. Me either. But we, okay, but why don't but you? But I little, like fucking fried fish food. I like that fucking. I was just gonna say, put a little tag on, it, like just go visit your local fish and chips shop because yeah. it's true. Because they're always fucking. Del- There's one in SAC, and you might know this one. Um, it's always busy. It's in Old SAC. I think it's just literally called like fish and chips. I don't know like its name, but it's if right. If it's by in the- like that main little like fucking old school commercial area that like. They do like the parades and stuff through in Sacramento. Um, um, I'm pretty sure I know what you're talking it's about. It's right by the train tracks. It's fucking del fucking licious. So, <laughs> oh, here we go. The big four, the big three. Damn, Mickey we're, we're McDonald's. getting some heavy hitters. McDonald's. What do we think? Hey, can I <laughs> can I ask you to start on this one again? What do you mean? Uh, so so I want your opinion first. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's. I have I could write like an expose on fucking McDonald's probably, but I'll 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 nail it down to a few bullet points. Okay. The food is shit. Yep. I fucking love it. Yep. So it's A tier. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's wow. my solilo- that's my soliloquy right there. It's that shit. was like <laughs> I'm on Mount Fuji. <laughs> I'm on McDonald's. Mount Fuji. Thank you, thank you, Dan. I am satisfied. Um, no, exactly, because, like, yes, I know when I opened up my little, like, paper thing of burger, it is smashed. It is the thinnest piece of meat. It looks like they barely took any care to put it together. But I put it in my mouth, and I'm like, oh, the world's not so bad. You know why? Why? Because that, that was our fucking childhood, bro. Yes. 100%. You are Absolutely. nailing on the head. Absolutely. And when I, was going, fucking lutely. when I was going through my divorce, uh, you know, like, a, year, a few years ago... I was working at this, there was an investigation company in Midtown Sac and they were remodeling our McDonald's that was like on the corner and I drove by, I'm like, I can't even have the thing that makes me feel good. I like cried. Damn you world. Cause I couldn't get my fucking like quarter pounder cause I just wanted like some comfort food even though I know it's shit. Okay, we're going to put an A. <laughs> A, A, A is perfect, man. And, and, and I honestly, I do don't anything, have anything please? more to say other okay. than what you said. Like, I just, it's, the food's not great, but the nostalgia no. is out of control. It yeah. has so many fucking varieties of foods, and it was always a legit time to go. In fact, if you went to the restaurant, see, I feel like, again, mm-hmm. everyone goes through drive through Yeah. Or you're just picking up and going. Sure. Nobody stays inside, but that's 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 also probably because these days, the inside of a McDonald's is really like fucking corporate and sad as shit. Oh yeah, it's but very back sad. Back in the I day agree. when McDonald's oh. was like having fun with it, and mm-hmm. everyone went to restaurants to go to a fucking restaurant. That was exactly. again, it was a '90s thing. Mm-hmm. You like the kids would be like, I, they're gonna have like eight fries, and and then they're gonna be like, whatever the fuck, we're gonna be in the play place for like forty minutes, peace. <laughs> and or then, like. Yeah, even like in the late, I guess since it was GameCube era, I recall they'd have those like they'd yes. have like those console things set up, yep. like the screens. I remember Nintendo sixty fours. That, oh, that's what it was at first, yeah, sixty fours, and they had the little like you know like robotic arm that was attached to the controller, so you couldn't mm-hmm. steal it, but it was like a two player thing. It, yeah, man, it, like, it was a block. It was okay. So so we had this one super rich McDonald's in mm-hmm. Granite Bay. Oh, you, actually, you should know. It was it was the um, Sierra College and Douglas one with the Safeway Safeway Shopping Center. Sarah College and Douglas. It actually oh, had, yeah, 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 yeah. It had yeah. like like the, like like cathedral roofs or something. Like it has like it has a very specific interior McDonald's ceiling style. Okay. That made it that so people who knew were like, oh, this is an upscale McDonald's. This was okay. like a hell of a nice McDonald's. Anyway, <clears throat> that had a square pillar 
coming down from the roof in like the play play area mm -hmm. and it had four screens on it and four controllers just like you were saying it was attached to like a metallic arm like arm yeah like so a robot like, like arm. it was out and in perfect space for like you to be standing there and playing the game yeah and so you so it'd be four kids standing in like a block and then four different screens and four different controllers and then you played like the same game and i was like that is genius that's well, like, like a land party in two well, seconds exactly and like they had the play play like i recall you know in the i, I should say late 80s because i was only like five or four in the late 80s like the the, the play places were like half the restaurant they're huge oh, absolutely that, that was like the main fucking attraction was for, for kids to go yeah. get like their energy out and then eat their big ass meal where like the mm -hmm. where, like while the family like just like kicks it and talks and then exactly. everyone went home tired it, right so that that's, it was an experience the food shit it's a nostalgic factor but i can't help it so <laughs> a um pan express you know i'm ready for it um rick and morty say it best it's Please sugar do. chicken <sighs> That's all it is. It's not that good. It's not. If you, if you haven't gone in the last six months, I ask you to try it because I got it and I was very disappointed with how my body felt after eating that shit. I, I'm actually happy you said that because I have a very similar yet different experience, and I can't. And I think I don't know the root of the the root of it because I've been to Panda like my. Um, I used to go to Panda a lot when I was going to college in San Francisco. Yeah. They, they had one at the... It was the shit in the 2000s. Yeah, they had one in the food court at the mall, and it was always like, you know, double orange chicken and chow mein, please. Mm -hmm. Like, that's all you fucking got was the, their orange chicken. Yeah, like you said, sugar chicken. <laughs> but, like, but like now, when I go, it's like I have to flip a coin because, like, you go into McDonald's, you know it's going to be a smushed, greasy fucking bun and burger and you're like this was yummy because it's my childhood but you go sure. into panda and i 100 percent agree with you because again working in davis and working delivery like i don't pack my lunch often enough and i'm like you know what i'm sick of burgers i do would like i would like some chow mein and some like you know sweet it chicken sounds and, good in the yeah, moment yeah and some kung pao chicken and then yeah you know 50 50 like you know, two hours later, I'm like, oh, God, because, like you said, it's fucking coated in sugar. Like, Well, not only sugar, Jesus but Christ. you're also consuming like seven bazillion milligrams of sodium. Yeah. And I don't know if this has helped anyone else or if anyone else is like somewhat conscious of their health. Um, but instead of the chow mein, which I know does not have a lot of sugar, but it's a lot of carbs and you just down that shit. Um, I just switched over to super greens and it. I mean, I still have a queasy stomach because I get orange chicken, so there's all that extra sugar. But at least well, I'm not and, and vegetables pounding. can be kind of like, you know, a little, a little like, voluminous on your stomach. A little what? Voluminous. Like, voluminous? like it, it just um, it's. Am I saying that right? It's um. Are you saying volume less? No, 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 no. Like, 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 um. It fills it up. Like a common, it's it's a word like like volume. But Us? it means that it's it's the the constant like up and down like like extreme changes of my oh, stomach was voluminous. I, I'm pretty oh. sure I have that right, but I might be wrong. Okay. Well, like I said, it's still like like I said, I go in I go in there do a coin a coin toss, and I so it's like, well, how do you feel today, Chris? Do you want to see if it makes you feel good or feels like shit? So yeah, it, it has. I'm putting it in a D. That's fine. That's fine. I think it's better than AMW, but yeah, I, it's too much of a coin toss. And I, it was better, like you know, ten years no, ago. No, do see, do see. Okay, 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 that's fine. Yeah. But yeah, we can leave it where it is because we both agree it's it's a coin toss. It's decent. I don't know. I give ooh, it like ooh, ooh what? But what? What? The, the fucking coconut prawn Prawns? motherfuckers or whatever. What the fuck is wrong with you? You and my brother. <laughs> oh my god, they're so good. Are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? I don't like them. I I could order like two two fucking like entree sized orders of that and they'll be like you. um so do you need uh chopsticks for eight to ten people i'm like yeah, uh this is sure. my life shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> no give me one yeah, give, me, give me those ten chopsticks oh. i'll use them later <laughs> yeah anyway uh panera Ooh, ooh. i <laughs> like that actually dig 
Panera. I feel I'm like gonna... Panera was a uh, restaurant, like a light sandwich restaurant slash coffee shop before that shit was popular. Light? What do you mean? It's pretty heavy. Well, well, well what I mean, what I mean, like, it, like the the business was cut in half. It was like half nice coffee shop, half nice. Oh, I didn't know that. Sandwich and whatever I didn't situation. Know that. I thought it was all um, one, on one and done. What's up? I thought it was all together. What do you mean? Well, what, what I'm saying is in the 90s, a lot of these are in the 90s for me. Um, in the 90s, Panera Bread did something that most other restaurants didn't have, which was having coffee and breakfast options. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. And, and then in the in the in the afternoon slash morning, you can get like the sandwiches and and whatever. Well, before so we're gonna do a little chip chop there. But so Jesse, what was your first um, experience with Panera? Because you you've accelerated the timeline by about yeah, six my years. bad. It's um, okay. Panera for me was uh, like freshman sophomore year. So like nineteen like two thousand. No, the first one in California ever was two thousand three. Really? According to no, that's uh, not a, that's not true because we had a Panera Bread on Sierra College in Douglas, um, in the Ralph Shopping Center, like forever. You mean Labu? <gasps> You're right. <laughs> I got you, bitch. <laughs> no, my God, you just blew my brain. But to they're pieces. very similar. Oh my they're God, very you're, similar. you're right. <laughs> oh my God, my world is shattered. I shattered it. Welcome back from the pee break, Jesse. Isn't that shit the same? I guess it's not. I mean, is it's it? so fucking close. Come on. Okay, it, okay. Maybe that's why I thought. It's very close, but um, you had a bit of a spiel on like why you like the sandwich part of it, the lunch sandwich part of it. Oh, like oh. It, it, funny enough, it wasn't the. It wasn't a, a sandwich. You can get uh, a loaf of like fresh cooked oh, bread and yep. the dill sauce and all the granite. Bay girls would do that. Just get oh, I just just bread, please, and, and ranch and a soda. Like yeah, well, that's not healthy. ranch. You had to get the dill sauce. Oh okay. Well, it was like specifically I, anyway. Um, where and, you and you it? can actually you can actually ask Serena that we got that shit all the time. Oh, I believe it. I I'd, I'd see. It. I'd go to the, I'd go to that labu with my mom, and it was just girls getting loaves of bread and fucking dill sauce all fucking day. Dude, do you remember when there was a um a uh, surf and skate or skate shop? Fuck, no. what was it called? I don't know. But you lived in Granite Bay around that time. I do miss the I do miss the Dragon Buffet that was right there. That was so good. Oh my god, that sushi place was so fucking bomb. Um, okay, where you? Wait, hang on, we're getting off track. Where are you put? Sorry, Panera? you're you're right, right. I don't know, Panera B. B. Yeah, I kind of figured it's like a bit overpriced but delicious. Like my only thing with Panera. Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Um, I think it's very tasty. Like if you're looking for like yeah, it's not bad food. The not greasy burger option is kind of pricey. But also, like, actually is good. Like, getting, like, a half sandwich and, like, a nice cup of soup. It's, like, it's based like a Starbucks with sandwiches. Like, the interiors are always very kind of, you know, c quiet and, like, everyone's just kind yeah. of chilling. It's, it's a Starbucks that leans more on the food side. Yeah. Where Starbucks is on the coffee side. Yeah, I totally agree. So, Panera, Panera's good. B, don't have strong opinions, but I always have enjoyed the food. Uh, Popeye's. So... Chicken. Oh, whoa. Go on. Do so. you remember when there was the chicken sandwich wars like four years ago? No, I'm not hip. I mean, I'm not either, but the, I, so Popeye's, I, th there was, there was a specific time where like suddenly every single fast food joint was having a chicken sandwich war with each other. Okay. Didn't and know, I feel like I feel like I remember Popeye started it because they're just like, hey, this is the best chicken sandwich you're going to have or you can call oh. us a liar. Fuck you. <laughs> come get it. Come and everyone it. did. And everyone was like, oh, my God, this is the best chicken sandwich I've ever had. What? And I'm not I'm not kidding. I feel like this was in like 2000, like 17 or something. OK. All right. Um, and what? then there was like back to back fucking commercials from all the other brands being all like something, something like Koi, like talking about their chicken sandwich. Interesting. Um, and but so I the chicken sandwich that made them absolutely like crazy popular, I, I guess I'm, I'm guessing is still like as good as it was at the time. But I okay. will be serious. I've never been to a Popeye's in my life. 
Well, thanks for that. It's a question mark. God damn it, Jesse. <laughs> but there's 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 structure behind that. I get because... it. But like all this stuff never been there. <laughs> but 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 I respect the, the like the <laughs> hype of the chicken sandwich. Like like the fact that they're just all like, we know that you know it's the best. So just shut up and come get it. It's like what's there? It's like do do chicken at Popeyes. There's some like I don't it's know. Catchy shit, it. It's catchy shit, man. It's catchy as shit. Um, I might go off on Quiznos for a minute. What about you? Go for it, man. No, no, no. I want to know yours first. I keep going first. I want to hear um, your opinion. Oh, sure, 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 sure. I I think Quiznos is the uh, better Subway, better Togos. One hundred fucking percent. Holy shit. Yeah, that's all I need to say. You go for it. Oh, um, again, um, proximity of you know college and living sometimes like leans you towards certain you know food establishments and this one was right near my work in my uh second apartment in the bay area and jesus fucking christ i loved quiznos they had like a hot italian and they toasted mm-hmm. better they toasted it better than subway because it wasn't a fucking yep. microwave they put it through a toaster oven yes. which actually toasted it not yes. used infrared it was like an actual fucking toaster <laughs> And it came out crispy as fuck, <laughs> and I fucking loved well, no, it. Like I, I'm, I love yeah, to watch right. it go like through the thing. Blackened bread, yeah. And it melted the cheese, and like the meat was all mm-hmm. bubbly instead of being like all like farty and stupid because it, like wasn't a microwave. Like farty and come, stupid. Come, <laughs> like Subway has so much money they could like easily invest in like the Quiznos toasters. Like I don't fucking know. What they're they fucking would have thinking. to restructure every single fucking restaurant I mean, on planet Earth. No, just just. Just remove the microwave and put the little rotator thing in. Yeah, but do you know how much know. that money that costs across, across like 6,000 fucking restaurants? Oh, my God. I have a funny thing to tell you about Subway when we get there. But, okay, Quiznos for me, it's almost <laughs> S. Like, it's so good. Yeah, like, when, when, you know what? When it comes to big quality fucking five-foot sandwich? sandwiches, which was a yeah. thing for a minute, it's S. I don't know. I just can't. I just it was so good like I have there's not one nearby here so again like proximity I go to subway because there's a gazillion but like when I was in the Bay Area that and Rice Bowl 99 were like my fucking I loved both of those places so Rice much Bowl because 99. of that yeah that's where yeah. I first learned about chicken katsu I'm like oh, I love chicken katsu yeah chicken katsu is the bomb um Canes never been all right cool question mark nice, nice there, there's easy. a that's the raising canes right it says chicken fingers. Oh yeah, raisin, yeah, raisin canes. Raisin yeah, canes. chicken, chicken. Yeah, chicken I, canes. I've, I've only heard it in myth. I've seen one. There's one actually in, um, in I guess you, Granite Bay West or, Sac. or in Roseville. Oh really? Oh, there's also one in, like West, no, East Sac, East Sac. Well, yeah, you're, you're further down. You're more in Sacramento area, but um, do you want to launch Sonic? What do you think? What do you want to do? Oh, you know Sonic. Okay, I've only been a handful of times. Mm-hmm. Um. And which is weird because I've heard a lot of people say the Sonic is shit. Me too. I've heard the same thing. However, the couple of times I've gone, it felt like the Denios version. Oh my god! Did it really? Dude, I didn't just say that. I'm so sorry. It 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 really does feel like the B minus version of fucking In and Out. Oh, you said Denios, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, Local you, sack you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Local sack peeps. That's like a flea market here in Sacramento. It's like you go to but find it, like it's, it's just, shit. It's like it's like they're trying in well, every way yeah, to be fucking I, in and out. It's just but, the B minus version of it. But I kind of like the roller skates. It's it's neat. It is. It's cute. The whole aesthetic's great. And like you can have any like, it has the the limeade cherry freeze thingies. Like I don't know. Okay, if we're just talking burger quality, it's like it's like between Jack and McDonald's. Like it's okay, it's but I think C. it's more like it's a C. Okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna fight because I I mean I go there like so infrequently. I'm not gonna like <laughs> die on this hill. But like what I do think they excel in is variety. Because holy shit, their menu is ginormous. I've never, yeah, I, I think I've been like twice, and I yeah, got like a shit, like a like a. Oh, you know what? Actually, I will say they what? had a um. One of their like cold drinks mm-hmm. uh, had the really teeny tiny circular ice that boba places have, mm-hmm. um, like twelve years before that shit got popular. It was it's smarter because it melts slower. Yeah, and that's actually like like apparently that is um, rolling out in every Starbucks on planet Earth this year. Sorry, that's incorrect. What I'm trying to say is, 
obviously big cubes melts melt slower but but, but it, the, it, I, it melts more like evenly or some shit like like they've no, done I, I totally agree because i in, when, in the summer when i'm out driving because i think it's because it takes up like you get more liquid per volume for your surface area because if you have giant cubes because you know we both know this going to the movie theater they'll like scoop like Thirty thousand fucking ice cubes and go. Okay, you're here. Your soda's <laughs> full. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? Which but is why do, I get light ice everything for egg, the last. 12 I always years. get light ice too. But when you when they start doing this small like boba ice, you do mm. get more. This is so like I'm not a scientist, but mm -hmm. I do. I believe you, and I've seen it myself by like switching to this the boba ice. Well, and they're also really fun to munch on. They are, but you get more fluid in your cup versus stacking it with the huge ice yeah because the surface area but anyways so, i agree so so i actually just for the drinks just because they were 10 years ahead of the curve i want to put them in b all right cool let's move it up move it on up uh steak and shake never heard of it yeah me too ah uh, subway oh boy here we go oh boy the the child he got a he got like charged with shit right Oh, the oh Jared? no! You're right, Jared yeah. from Subway. Fuck that dude. I'm not gonna put it in Chick Fil A because he's a single person, not an entity. But did you ever see? And this I was holding on to. Did you ever see the John Oliver on Subway? Please tell me you've seen it. No, send it to me. Oh, I will send it to you in the Discord after this. There ah, is John um, Oliver is so fucking dude. Funny. He did a whole thing on Subway. And you know he just rakes everything over the coals. Oh, he's the but. <sighs> Dude. He's the best at it. But there was some, I don't know if it was a Korean commercial or a Chinese commercial, but um, it's like this, it's, it's a real commercial. Like he emphasizes like this airs in China or Japan. I'm not doing it justice, but what Oh, you're talking like, about the, the, the Korean dramas where they would like actually, they were so strongly, um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like sponsored by Subway or like whatever that they would actually have to have like their little lovey dovey scenes in the Subway. Well, I don't, I don't know, but like these were apparently. Well, it's either <laughs> that you can watch it at your leisure, or uh -huh. it's, there's an there, or there are ads, and she was going in to get like the um she liked the meatball sub, and he'd always put like one extra in, and then they had like a falling out, and she's like, she's like, I want double meatball. -oo. And he's like, no, and like his hands are like the single. And it's, like, it's like, it's like, it's like, <laughs> like it's like the rain just comes crashing down. And she's like depressed, and then like they get like they're good again. And he puts like double meatball, and she's like, <gasps> double meatball. That's so like, it's, fucking it's lame. So fucking stupid. But like obviously. And by the way, I know I was speaking Japanese, not fucking Korean, but oh, um, like, I don't, and I'm not sure if I'm saying it in, in the right tongue, like. <laughs> It, it could be Korean or it could be Japanese or, or Chinese, but it's hilarious and I'll put it in the description. But. So, so Subway to me is similar thing. Like, and, mm -hmm. and actually, you know what? Would you mind while I'm going on my little diatribe, would you mind looking up the Subway guy and making sure that we were not tricked into like some propaganda shit that oh, we heard? Oh, sure. Yeah. So Jared, keep going. So, um, so anyway, my thing about Subway again is where like if Quiznos fucking crushed it with like toasty bread, actual cheese, like meats and things that tasted like food, mm -hmm. Subway was like the the super depressing like we're just trying to keep a post-apocalyptic world alive through food in a assembly mm -hmm. line mm -hmm. and 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 tough shit and you get what you get. For some reason, <laughs> Subway just had that flavor to me. It had the least amount of fucking effort. The food, the, the chicken was like rubber pieces of fucking plastic. Um, See, and I everything would... just tasted sad. Oh, like, have you had it? Okay, I'm not trying to like, we're not sponsored, but like, have you had it in the last year? No, no. See, and again, hello, lovely viewers. Like, other people have done this tier list and have spoken on subway in very harsh terms for a lot of their channel and their and their and, <laughs> and, and, their and, and i want to say that i've had at least like 80 sandwiches from being a freshman to like an early college student hey that's that's an and that's a good sample size and you think they've all been shit i i'm every one of them was lackluster and and not only like eh but like disappointing really 
I, I've Fingers. never felt like Subway has ever been a good sandwich ever. The bread is spongy and fucking wow. either old or lumpy or smushed, and wow. the vegetables taste aged, and the meats taste nothing, and it just, I get it, and I'm like, man, I could have gotten so many other things this afternoon. Okay, interesting. Like, you're right on par with everyone else that I've heard on YouTube do this. Uh, to, I, I swear to God, I'm not just biased, just to like... <laughs> no, 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 I know, like, it's just... I mean, I'm no connoisseur of meats and cheeses and breads. Like, I'm not going to stick my nose up at most food because I want to fucking eat. But, like, (laughs) I don't get the hate. Like, maybe, okay, maybe they do specific meats wrong. And I only get one, I literally only get one sandwich there. And it's the um, the Italian BMT. So it's salami. Um, I don't think it's bologna, but it's, it's like the cured meats. You know, so that's a salty sandwich. That's actually, I, I guarantee you, that would give me like a solid C. Yeah, it's not. I never get the turkey. I've had turkey there once or twice, and it really was like, okay, this tasted like air. I get it. Like it's like it didn't. Like I can make a turkey sandwich at home. That's way better. Yeah. But when I go for my like Italian, it's either the BMT or the hot Italian. They've changed the menu around in the past few years. Okay. And I always get like you know green pepper and like onion and spinach and avocado and uh, you know banana peppers. And I think that sounds good. good, actually. It is good. And like, does it fill me up like, let's say, a Quiznos or a Jack in the Box burger? No. But when I'm in a pinch and I don't want to drive, you know, 10 minutes to go somewhere else, I'll get it. And I would yeah. say B. B. If, we, if there was a B minus tier, I would do it. But I would say B or C. B. Cool. Okay. B. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand all the hate. Like, maybe their turkey and chicken just suck ass, and I never get those sandwiches. Like, there. I would like, choose a C just based on the fact that it always takes for fucking ever when you go inside. Because mm, it's, I, and, and, and I'm, not, I'm not trying to rehash what like every not, single person says online, but you. you literally are waiting for a single person to make multiple sandwiches, which means yeah. that they make it in stages, and then you're waiting like, <laughs> for five minutes for the other person to choose how many fucking pepperoncinis they're gonna put on and i'm like would you hurry the fuck up and that's the person in line not the person right. working right and everyone else knows as we because you told me to look stuff up i don't want to say it on air everyone knows what he did let's just leave it at that oh, he's in shit. prison right now oh well okay then then that means he was tried yeah. and he might get out as okay right he might get out as early as 2029 so he's in federal prison. Oh, yeah, so four year, five years from now. Oh boy. Um. So yeah, BC. Right, fuck, sure. Cool. Fuck you, fuck you, Jared. <laughs> All right, Taco Bell, your oh favorite, God. Jesse. S. S. I knew it. <laughs> like fucking, I could sing the praises of Taco Bell all damn day, and the problems with it. But yep, it all boils down to: does yep. it taste? Absolutely fucking delicious? motherfucking delicious at 1 a.m. after like a fucking club. Hell yes. 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 You, there's so many fucking choices. And Ugh. and how many times did we eat it for the show? Like for years. Oh my we god. Ate it for the, the, show. the fucking the Sunday morning hookups, like <laughs> when we first started. I yeah. think Taco Bell, I think we got Taco Bell every single fucking time. Almost every single time, yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. It, I, and again, a lot of people sing it's shits like Subway. I don't get it. Like it is honestly, out of all of these. If I'm going for flavor, like instant, like savory, cheesy, oh, yeah. Talk about, period. juicy, period. Like, yeah, their veggies kind of suck ass, whatever. I'm there for the, uh, the juicy meat, the cheese, the, the crunchy taco, the refried beans. Like, holy yeah. shit, put it in my mouth. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, and I haven't gone in like a week or two, but yeah. they do have these little um, chicken soft little pillowy flatbread oh that's right i actually bought one when we recorded yeah, last time <laughs> you did mm-hmm. yeah man they're good yeah taco bell s boom done all right wendy's Ooh, go for it i don't have much to say hey i would say really yeah because wendy's was the other version of um what? hardy's no the Burger? fucking the one that you love the dq Wendy's had that similar like high quality burger and a really good hand spun actual ice cream shake. Um, I think their burgers are kind of crap. I would say I thought the burgers were okay. I think I think I think I actually that was like my 
um, ice cream shop. That's fair. So yeah, Wendy's like became, yeah, synonymous with like, hey, I needed fries or I needed something salty. And then yeah. I also got my shake. So I would put it, yeah, put it in A. Yeah, because like, when you and I were starting with um, fucking, what was the first one? Oh, Arby's. You're like, okay, Arby's, Burger King, or Jack in the Box. I'm like, well, yeah, it's the lowest of those four. So like if, if I'm throwing Wendy's in the mark, it's still, it's below Arby's for me. Below Arby's. Yeah. Oh, really? It's um, just kind of okay. Like, I don't... Like, yeah, I'd, like, I'd be willing to put it like B. Okay, B. Okay. It's just like when I go, I don't feel satisfied. Like, I, I went there once. It had been a while. Like I like I said, I don't like to try to eat fast food too much when I'm at work. But I was like, well, there's a Wendy's out here in Woodland. And I haven't been in a while. And I got like a, I was like a $6 Wendy's box. And I ate it. I'm like, mm. that didn't really do anything for me. It's just, you know what? It's just, the burger was tiny. Like, I felt like cheated. <laughs> I... Okay, and, and and so yeah, I must have not had the burgers that much because when I went to Wendy's when I was is when I was a poor um sophomore kid. Fair. And yeah. so like the only money I had was like for ice cream and fries. Fair. Um but anyway, yeah, so so be, mm. be cool. That's good. All right, what's so what's so pretzel? Is that next. basically the same thing as Auntie Anne's? I mean, I don't know. I don't think I've ever been. It's no, probably I've a mall been. kiosk thing. Huh? Yeah, that's that's question mark for me. Question mark? Okay. Now, is Whataburger the one that's in like Texas? I've never been to a Whataburger. Or is, or is, that, or is that Murder Burger? I've oh, heard a, of a Murder Burger. Oh, then I we had one in the area, and I, but I don't know what, but I don't know Whataburger. Is, is, is Whataburger? No, that's... Um, I've never seen that logo in my fucking me life. Me either, but there's one, there's a burger shop at the... Arden Mall. That's something. Smash Burger. Smash Burger is right? good. We have okay. a Smash Burger um, Galleria. Okay, so it's not Water Burger. Okay, White Castle. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, Please go. Please go. The only thing I've ever had from White Castle, and I think I've ever been like three times, was like the fucking twenty pack of sliders. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and, and this this was back in like. Oh Jesus. I'm my eighty days oh, freaking whoa. out. So I'm, I'm, what? Ooh, sorry. I just had like a little bit of a cough. Oh my god! Okay. I need something. To drink. I was. I'm fixing my ADD. So hang on. No. There oh you go. Oh my god! I need some water. That killed my throat. Oh wait, hang on. We're getting good. Hang on. I'm I'm, I'm rearranging the stuff because of my ADD. Oh, to make it more like visually aesthetic. Yeah. Notice how most of these logos have red. Like yeah. 90% of these have red. Red's very, obviously it's like freeway. Like, oh, if, if you look up, obvious. um, if you look up, um, Jesus Christ, like advertising, like colors and advertising have very specific, like emotional responses. Mm -hmm. Um, and I actually thought, I think I remember the McDonald's was, oh my God, I need some water. Okay. One sec. I'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah. say because i have a water filter on our sink in the in the kitchen not to mm -hmm. mention rockland has hella better water than fair oaks this water actually tastes good here nice um anyway sorry that doesn't have to be in there so white um, castle okay white castle so um i remember coming down from the mountain man, we were up in like auburn or something and it was oh, a was right huh that was a guess I was, I was just making a joke, and you actually were coming down from the mountain. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you have hiccups now. <laughs> I need, I, shut up. I need some more water. Shut okay, up. Okay, Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't realize how dry my throat was. Um, so, anyway, it was just a bunch of us piled in this dude's, like, um, uh, Jeep. And so it was just like mm -hmm. one of those like broy fucking summer nights, you know, yeah. everyone's buzzed except for the one person driving. And sure, so we he's go to, too. huh? He's probably buzzed too. Let's be honest. 
No, no, no. Actually, I'm pretty sure he was like, he oh, okay. knew he was the designated driver. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, because we were also like driving up on like, um, not untamed lands. What's the word I'm looking for? Like off road kind of yeah. shit. Um, the side roads. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, we were getting back into town, coming down 80. And we went to White Castle and like we just ordered the fucking 20 pack of sliders. It was like <laughs> one of their special deals. And well, it yeah. was just like endless fucking food. Every dude was just grabbing one or two at a time and just like, you know, opening them up and eating them in like three bites. And but like you, you know, we didn't have to feel um, like, you know, like if you're like, oh, I just had two and three and you're like, I'm still hungry. I can have another one. Like you didn't have to feel bad about grabbing another one because there were so yeah. many fucking burgers. It's like the sushi of burgers. Like <laughs> you have like a thousand pieces and you're like, I'm still hungry. <laughs> they're tiny. Well, yeah they, yeah, they were tiny and they were not great. In fact, no. if, if I had to put them in like food quality terms, it would probably be a D. Yeah, However, I think ever the experience I, I think... of getting the 20 pack and everyone <laughs> eating to like their fucking fill. Eh, uh -huh. C. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say D because I was like, I had it, I think I honestly had it once and I was really not impressed. It was very mediocre food. It was just the burger with like the, like the little bit of onion. Yeah, the little weird know, onion. Um, sprinkled on it. Yeah, yeah, mix. All right. C, it goes. I'm going to put it there. And then which which I'm guessing is a question mark for both I've of us. I've never heard of which which. It's just a sandwich, and then Zach Speed's. I see it's a little chicken logo. That's also a negative for me, yeah. Ghost Rider. But but let's not end on a fart. Um, how about I want we? On a fart. Because I'm sure that there were things that were missed. Um, mm -hmm. What would you say is your absolute crown jewel if you had to get fast food anywhere oh. and with any period of time? I mean. Okay. Taco Bell. Still Taco Bell, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, no matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, anytime, and you can probably attest to this too, d depending on your commutes where you go, every time I go to LA, I end up at that off ramp and I don't know how. <laughs> the one with the Taco the, Bell that we always has, it, like, like coming from AX. Or going to AX, but or yes. Or going to AX, yeah. I think it's exactly almost like two, three hundred miles. It's like the, it's at the exact right halfway point. It's like a hundred <laughs> yeah. or fifty miles before the grapevine. Uh huh. And like the previous exits don't have like as much food or you know gas stops to offer. You're like, oh, I'll wait a few more, and then by some magic of the desert, it's yeah. always three more takes you to talk about. I'm like, well, I guess I'll get talk about. I'm fucking here. <laughs> No, I know exactly what you mean. It's it's almost like they mathematically like did the the driving. They had like, to like have, dude. like to 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 get like the the mental state of the person, the average mental state, um, and and they like mathematically planned to Taco Bell to be there. That's so funny that you say that because I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh no, they had to have like a hundred percent. Like I just went down, um, back in like yeah November. Yeah, for the one of those raves, and I'm like, doop 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 doop. Oh my god, there's Taco Bell. I'm like, yep, I'm here. <laughs> like it just, it just happened. There's a gas station um, that my brother, my sister, Bruce, anybody in the family who's coming and going from my sister's place up in mm -hmm. Mammoth mm -hmm. back to Sacramento. Um, there's like this is off, magical. Is that off of fifty. Sorry, is that off of fifty. Uh, fifty, and then a bunch of other fucking micro sure. freeways. Okay, gotcha. Or, or Go ahead. Highways. Yeah. Um, but anyway, there's always this midway point when I think you dipped back in from Reno back to California. There's this moment where you have to like, you know, dip in and out. Um, and I think, I think so. Wait, yeah, where's yeah. Mammoth? Sorry, I'm Mammoth I'm is um, southeast. I'm, but like, is it in a different state or is it in California? It's it's in California, but you have to dip into the neighboring state Re for half a second. Because Reno is. Nevada. Yeah, no, I think you have to dip into Nevada for just a second because there's like this okay. teeny, tiny, tiny, tiny customs. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, um, go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Okay, go ahead. Or go like, ahead, like let's stop. But anyway, long story short, um, there, there's just this one gas station that's like this huge, beautifully maintained, super clean gas station with like tons of fucking food and dairy products and all sorts of stuff. And for some fucking reason their gas is like a buck cheaper than anything in like a hundred miles 
Interesting. And so it's just like, this is the halfway point. You absolutely stop at this place every single time because everyone gets out, stretches their legs. Two people go in to use the restroom. You go in and get food, you get Gatorade, you get you know snacks and candy, and then it's like it's like a, it's like a twenty minute ordeal while you get gas, and then you then you go. Well, what's your? Well, does that have? Oh, we were talking about uh, gas station placement. Do you have a top fave besides Krispy Kreme? Like, if you could pick one of these. Oh, oh my god! And, and Krispy Kreme is only just because of the the, the weirdness of oh, the I, phenomenon of the hot donut. Um, oh, I know. My favorite food place to pull to the top, just for funsies. If you could, if you're driving along. Damn, I want to go there. What is it? Ooh. In and out. That's fair. They they pump. I was gonna say they pump that fucking scent through those vents. You can smell that thing two exits away. You're like oh, I'm getting close it's, to one. It's perfection in a restaurant. Yeah, yeah you can always smell it. Yeah, it, it's purposely always by the freeway, and you can always smell it like two exits away. You're like, oh, I want that. And call me a hater. I think their fucking fries are amazing. The fries are good. The fries are hell. Everyone's good. like, they're too potatoey. And I'm like, well, you're just fucking too well, potatoey. Shut up. Kind of what they're fucking made of, but okay. <laughs> Well, Chris, this was fun. Well, what an interesting mess we've made of this tier list. <laughs> Any takeaways? Um, I agree with Chick-fil-A. Yeah, I could have talked a lot more on a lot of these, but I know we we're kind of pressed for time, both of us. Um, I am happy with what we've learned, and I'm sure these points will come up in contention throughout other shows or games that we play, but it was good. It was fun. I appreciate it. Yeah, good times. All right. If well, anyone has any uh, uh, con- like arguments against anything we say, we'd love to hear your uh, interactions in the comments because um, I know people get fun and fiery about this shit, and so we want to hear it. So let us know. Um, but uh, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Um, peace. Peace out, guys. <laughs>